figured that I should just stick to the basics, just the truth of it. I have loved our friendship more than anything else in the whole world. You so quickly became my best friend, and that has just grown and grown and grown over the last three years that we've been together. And I cannot wait to see how our friendship grows, see the adventures that we go on, to deal with all of those trials and tribulations. There's nobody that I'd rather have on my side than my very best friend. And I'm so happy. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inner spiritual grace signifying to us all forevermore the uniting of this man and this woman of holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings and that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Richard, take this ring. Place on Christian's finger and repeat after me. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love with this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take this ring, Christian. Pull the Richard's finger and repeat after me. In token and pledge of our constant faith. And abiding love with this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join hands. Fasting is an ancient tradition symbolizing the binding together of two people in love. Tying the knot, the cord was created with ribbons on which are written the thoughts, hopes, and wishes and blessings of friends and family for the groom and the bride as they begin to union as husband and wife. It will bind the groom and bride together with strong bonds of love. With the entwining of this knot, we tie all the desires all their dreams, all their love, all their prayer and happiness wished here upon them all of their lives. With the entwining of this knot, in their hands are the best friends they hold together. Young, strong, and full of love. They're holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside of you as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and yes, tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family together as one. And these are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age will be reaching for yours still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with such a tough, touch love. Let us pray. For inasmuch as Richard and Kristen have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and to this company, and thereto they have pledged their faith each unto the other, and have declared the same by the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those who God have joined together, let no one put asunder, and all of God's children said, Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs>
eternal God, creator and preserver of us all, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessings now upon Richard and Kristen, whom we bless in thy name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant made between them this day, and may they ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws. Look graciously upon them, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other. And so live together in faithfulness, live together in patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us unite our voices together as one united family as we pray the way that Jesus Christ taught us to pray with one voice, our Father, who art in heaven.